Welcome back everybody. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A and we're finally back out at the range on a gorgeous day. Bugs are terrible though. And we're going to do a devastation test with our 6.5 Grendel. We're going to be using the Saber Black Tip and see how devastating it is. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. All right, uh, in our last video, we did a group test with this ammo, this particular ammo. God, the bugs are bad today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, with the Sabre Black Tip, I believe it's AAC that produces this, and it grouped just fantastic out of our first uh, three shots. The second three were a little bit worse, but that was completely me. I know it was. But I wanted to save the rest of this so we can do some devastation tests. And today, as always, we have out our Ruger American Gen 2 Predator chambered in 6.5 Grendel. I won't go through all the specs with this. We have several videos with this already. If you want to go back and watch those, go ahead. Just a fantastic setup. Uh, got the Bushnell Nitro on there. Got the cheapy bipod. I don't know. Oh, I got to figure out where I want to shoot all this stuff from today. So we'll see if we keep that on or not. Uh, as far as our targets, guys, I got a, just a variety today in our non-scientific test because I hate pissing people off when they say, oh, nothing you did really proved anything. Well, we're, or, uh, I'm just an old redneck boy out here doing this, so I don't have the ballistic gels and all that. All right, we have, since it's that time of year, we got a nice big old pumpkin. Now, I did not fill this one with water because I want to see what it actually does to it. It's probably not going to do a whole lot because pretty hollow on the inside, you know, uh, as far as pumpkin goes. And this one should be fun. I picked up, because they were on sale, excuse me, three cantaloupes. Now, these probably won't do much either, but uh, a lot of fluid on the inside, so maybe we'll get that. Uh, what do you call it? God, my mind's blanking today. Well, anyway, we'll get some devastation out of it. We got three of them, so we may line them up, see how it does through all three of them. And, of course, we got the... Water, oh, oh, hang on. I splurged for this video, guys. Had to do something a little bit pricier and go with the good old, big old juicy watermelon. Now, I love shooting watermelons, but it usually takes two shots to get them to blow up really nice. So we'll see. And of course, guys, we got the water jugs out here. We want to catch one of these, see what it looks like upon impact, how far it goes through, if it breaks apart upon impact, which I'm guessing it will. I'm guessing it's just going to fragment out. But we got enough water jugs out here today that we should be able to get it done. And we're probably going to try a couple distances from this too. Now, with uh, me reading up saying that this is more designed to be a self-defense round, we're going to do a little bit closer up stuff, uh, especially with the water jugs. But... And with the three cantaloupes, we may do that. We'll see where we're at. Um, first off, I want to catch one of these things, so we'll probably do that test first. And then we may back it up to about 100 yards and put a few things on the rail of the shooting stand just to see what it looks like at that distance. But let's get things set up and get started. All right, guys, so it might be hard to see. Okay, I can barely see it. Well, anyway... The uh, water jugs are out there. We do have a close-up camera. We got one round of the black tip loaded up. I had to crouch down and prone here. Hopefully we land a good shot. Well, I do have a lot of water jugs out there. I didn't bring a lot of spares. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. I don't think we're going to go all the way through the water jugs, but we may veer to one side or another. I just want to see if this thing really breaks apart on impact. Or if it stays together and holds its holds all of its weight. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, and we're at 25 yards. I did range it. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go take a look. All right, so I'm not really sure what all happened there, so <laughs> let's take a look here. It looked, I think I had five in the middle, so it blew the first two out to the side. I'm not liking the look of the third one there. It does look like it's kind of coming out the side. Sorry, we're going to adjust the tripod here. 
let's crouch down and take a look. I don't want to get too deep into these things because some of this, some of these jugs are pretty nasty. I do hear a little bit of shrapnel in there. Yep, there's a small piece. <laughs> you hear the other ones dribbling out. So I'm not sure if you can see in the bottom there. There is a small fragment. We'll get that out. Uh, yep. We, oh, man, I just crouched in a pile of water. But we did not make it into the fourth in the middle. Definitely looks like we've... Oh, look at that. There's a piece of jacket just stuck right in the side of that one. <laughs> so definitely... That was stuck in the side. We'll set that on top. I'm hoping to find something big in here, but it looks like... So in the side and a little... Oh! Yep, we do have the big chunk right in the back, guys. It's stuck right there. So let's get that out. See how big that piece is. Hopefully, uh, that's good because we uh, still left a lot of water jugs. <laughs> Always a bonus. Got some small pieces in there. Push that back. Yeah, it might be melted to the side there. I'm gonna grab my knife and we're gonna cut that out because it's melted to the side. All right guys, so it wasn't so much melted, but I am so just crazy impressed here. It looks like, <coughs> excuse me, it kept almost all of its mass there. Wow. Um, I honestly don't remember how the Hornady Blacks did. I'd have to go back and look. But I'd say this thing kept, looks like about 90% of its mass, its weight. That's pretty darn cool. So we're going to line up the other tests. Man, I'm so glad the water jug test worked on the first try. I hate doing that over and over again. But now my pants are soaked. Like I said, I didn't want to get into the water, but I went diving right in. All right. So that's uh, very impressive. That would definitely do the job. Man, I uh, I don't know if this could hunt or uh, double as a hunting round. But let's, uh, which one do we want to do first? Let's do the pumpkin. Yeah, we'll do the pumpkin, and then we'll see how we do with the cantaloupes. We'll line those up as well and see how we blast through all those. And then we'll finish up with a watermelon. We may back up to about 100 for the watermelon. All right, so we're just going to shoot this one off the back of the pickup truck. <laughs> but uh, we got the big old pumpkin down there. I don't expect crazy devastation, but boy, was I impressed with the water jug test. That looked really good. Looks better than some of the... Uh, tests we've done on different Grendel ammo but these again guys if I haven't said it it's 123 grain 6.5 Grendel sorry I should have said that in the beginning uh, but yeah this black tip looked like it mushroomed out really really well on the water jug test let's see how we do on the pumpkin test uh, gotta get a weird angle here I drop these uh stupid cheapy bipod thing down there we go that's better all right again we're at 25 yards yeah didn't get a ton of devastation there didn't think we would went right where i was aiming too i thought i was hitting a little bit right so i went a little low left and we hit right where we were aiming let's go take a look All right, so walking up to the pumpkin, obviously, being 6.5 Grendel, we're not gonna have a crazy large entrance wound there, but I haven't looked in the back yet. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Sorry about that, got caught up. That is some good devastation there, guys. I will take that. I was expecting it since we were so close and I never get expansion on pumpkins. Thought that was just going to be a small little entrance and exit hole. But boy, was I surprised with that. We had good velocity going, being at 25 yards. Probably pretty close to maximum velocity as we can get with that. And boy, that just annihilated that pumpkin. We're going to save that though, and I'll uh, plink around with some other stuff later. Let's line up the cantaloupes and see how we do with those. All right, guys, we got the black tip loaded up for the cantaloupes. And we're going to take a shot off the truck here. I got them lined up as straight as possible. So again, we're still at 25 yards. Let's see how we do. Oh man. Wow, hopefully the close-up camera got some good footage of that. 
because that looked crazy from here. Let's go take a look. All right, coming up to this, this is what I like to see, guys, an absolute mess. I had to put the pumpkin behind to kind of prop it up. But the first one, oh, man, cut it right in half. Pretty nasty. Second one, same thing, cut it right in half. Now, what happened when we got to the third one? Looks like we were veering a little low, went in, and small exit out the back, guys. There we go. So... <laughs> Definitely losing a lot of speed just through uh, three water or uh, three cantaloupes here. But now I have one solid target still and three kind of mangled ones. So we're going to try to prop these up on the uh, steel stand and we're going to back it up to right about 100 yards and see what it looks like from there. Okay, so we got our three targets up on the steel stand there. We're going to go for the watermelon first in the middle that way in case everything else falls. I'm not really that butthurt about it. So we'll load up three, just in case. We do have the close-up camera down there this time. Hopefully that plays good shots and we don't hit the post and get some spalling. <laughs> oh, starting to get hot out here. All right, we're at just a shade under 100 yards, I do believe we are up here. I think we should be able to hit it just fine. Whether it makes good devastation or not, I don't know. Let's find out. Again, we're going for the watermelon first. Wow. That just absolutely blew it up. So we still have the pumpkin there. The cantaloupe fell. So let's place a shot on the pumpkin. Again, we've already shot the pumpkin, so I'm not expecting extremely accurate results, but let's take a look anyway. <laughs> Definitely dropped it. All right, guys, let's go down and take a look. All right, so coming down towards the stand. We're still in the front here right now. Nothing up there still. We got a bunch of the watermelon shot forward. Some good chunks there. Let's go around back and see if we can't find the rest of it, because... Boy, oh boy, did it just explode. <laughs> and again, we're not seeing much as far as behind here. Wow, guys, I'm very impressed on what that did to the watermelon at right at about 100 yards. It just completely blew it apart. I didn't think it was going to do that. Um, I know watermelons consist mostly of water, but whew, I'm impressed. All right, let's take a look at the pumpkin, see if I can figure out which way it was sitting. Ugh. Yep, so our new, ah, oh, we were shooting dead on. Our new entrance was right there, very, very tiny. And then still did some good devastation. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see it. Did some really good devastation out of the back there. But we had already shot it, so it's very, very similar to what we had at about 25 yards. Hey, guys, I'll take that. Color me impressed with these rounds. They do some pretty good devastation. All right, everybody, there you have it. Some uh, non-scientific uh, tests here to see what the devastation looked like on these saber black tips, saber blade black tips, my apologies. At 25 yards, we had pretty good devastation and kept most of our mass, dumping most of that energy off in the first couple water jugs there. Uh, then color me surprised on the pumpkin uh, 25 yards we left pretty good damage and even at right around 100 yards we left really good damage and the watermelon test that one threw me I did not expect it to blow it up like that it just completely blew that apart so that was a good one there I know guys these are not tests that are accurate these are our non-scientific tests that we're having fun with out here. The cantaloupe one impressed me as well. Two of them just blown in half, and then the third one went right through. All right, everybody, what are your thoughts on the, I believe it's AAC, Saber Blade Black Tip. What are your thoughts on it? Would you use it? Would I use it for hunting? If it's all I had and I was a uh, close range, sure. Uh, obviously, it'll do some damage. 
but I'm not going to reach out with it. We might have to do some further testing if I can get my hands on more of this, but we'll see how it is. But all in all, I'd say I'd use it. All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell for notifications so you know when the videos are coming out. If you feel like supporting the channel with a few bucks here and there, hit that super thanks button. That's the easiest way to do it. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Hey.